In this video series you will learn how to set up a simple help desk. All you have to do is log into your cPanel of your hosting account and roll down until you see Fantastico and click on that. Now roll down to where it says customer relationship and then click on OS ticket. A little install window will pop up. Click on new installation. And then you just fill in this form. First of all, you have the domain it's going to be installed on should come up automatically. And then next, if you want to install it in a directory, you put it here. So we're just going to call it help desk. Now you don't have to install it in a directory, you can install it in the main directory by leaving this blank. Then I want you to give it a username and password. And then an email address for the admin. Then click install OS ticket. And then it's telling you that it's going to create a MySQL database for you and where it's going to install it. Click Finish Installation. And then when it's done, it tells you that it has created the databases and the configuration file. And now you can click down here to view your help desk. And you can click here to admin your help desk. I suggest that you go to admin first and bookmark this page. You now have the basic help desk set up. Now we need to set up some categories for our users to be able to select. So key in your username and password you selected. Then down here, click on categories. And then you want to set up a couple of categories you have a default one called support. Uh, you can just call this first one you might want to say general question. If you're going to use a POP3 account you can put the information in here and you can put the email address in here. However if you leave the above blank it will just use your web servers email handling system which is what you're going to want to do in most cases here you will put the email address in this is the email address that you will be notified at and then create the category. Go back to categories again. You'll see now that you have support and general question. And if we select general question, you'll see that there's an, the, what we had set up is in here. And support takes our default email address and has put that in there. So you can change that if you want to something else. Remember, you can also set a signature in here, which will carry a signature out to your, with your email that it gets sent out from the help desk. And then the next one you might want to add, you click add new, you might want to put one called JV request. And then here in the email, if you want to have a different email address for it, for instance, if you've set up an email that you want to receive JV requests at JV at your domain name .com and general support at support at your domain .com and questions at questions your email .com, etc. This is where you can do that. Otherwise, you can just set up your basic email address here that you want to use if you just want to use one for everything. Signature goes here if you want to put a signature line in. And then you create the category. Now if we go back to categories now, you'll see that we have 
the three categories that people can select. And you can set up as many as you want. Once you've done that, you can click on Preferences. 